I'm Emily. I'm master to student of the University of Bordeaux and I work of plants with health benefits. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about Berberis coriana, a shrub found in Korea. This plant is traditionally used to treat fever and conjunctivis, and scientists think Berberis coriana could be extremely rich in molecules with health benefits. Indeed, Berberis coriana belongs to the genus Berberis, which is known to have a very large number of pharmacological properties thanks to their very rich composition of isocanolin alkaloids. Berberis coriana have two major alkaloids, which are berberine and palmatine. In fact, these two molecules are very stewed because they have a lot of medicinal properties tested in vitro and in vivo. For example, they both have antioxidants, anti-inflammatory and hepatoprotective effects. But alkaloids are not the only compounds which can be found in Berberis coriana, and in order to demonstrate it, a team of researchers have focused their studies on the discovery of new compounds with cytotoxic properties contained in Berberis coriana. Now, let's see how they did that. First, they made a methylonic extract of a trunk from a Berberis coriana. Then, they fractionated the extract with free solvent. After that, they used a sulfodamine B assay to evaluate the cytotoxicity of each fraction against tumor cell life. Then, they look what fraction shows the best cytotoxic activity, and they look at the molecule present in this fraction with HPLC and RNA. As a result, some 40 compounds with histotoxic activity have thus been identified in Berberis coriana trunk extract. These compounds include mainly biphenyl, tritaphenoid, lignite derivative, and phenolic compounds. Let's see now in more details some examples of what they found. First, they discovered new molecules identified for the first time in Berberis coriana, like Berberis coriana A, berbiconol, berfusinol, and bercoranol. All these molecules show a consistent cytotoxic activity in vitro. But since their discovery, no more research has been conducted to explore the mechanism of action and to test it in vivo with animal models. Now, if we look at the molecules already discovered before to be identified in Berberis coriana, some of them have really important cytotoxic activity. For example, we have petrolinic acid and lauricy resinol. The mechanism of action of these three mo two molecules have been stewed in vitro and in vivo, especially for petrolinic acid, which has many properties. But what it is also important to know is that in the Berberis coriana extract, they are also betulinic acid 3B trans caffeate and betulinic acid 3B cis caffeate. These two molecules are more active than the simple betulinic acid form, but no studies have been conducted to explore the effects. Similarly, there is lauracinol dimethyl FA, which is more active than lauracinol, but has not been the subject of any other publication concerning this effect. What we can conclude from these studies is that Berberis coriana is extremely rich in compounds with hill value and presents a great interest for medicinal purposes. However, many studies are still missing to validate the effects. The mechanism of action should be tested in vivo on animals models and we can look at their toxicity and bioavailability. If these studies are positive, Berberis coronal molecules may be candidates for clinical studies in humans. Thanks for watching!